Hello guys, I'm Nawal Yamal. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Data Master. So in this video, we are going to see how to connect your Delta table, which is inside your Databricks Data Explorer to a Power BI. So we have already created a Delta table in the previous video. Now I'm going to connect this employee table to our Power BI. So you have a employee table here. Now this is a new UI. Now here you have a marketplace. So let me click on this marketplace. And let me check or not marketplace actually. Let me click on the partner connect. Yes, I want to connect it to the third party. You can see data ingestion. There are so many tools. And here with a BI and visualization, you can connect your all databases or the schemas what you have created directly to the power bi by using this partner connect this is available only in the premium version of azure databricks so let me click on this and it is asking you which compute do you want to use so by default i'll be using the cluster what i have created once you select the compute that is the cluster what you have been running then you get a option called download the connection file Whenever you are using a Power BI, you need to remember that the your Microsoft's Power BI desktop should be the latest version. So you can see you must have the Power BI desktop version, uh, which is 2.99 or above installed. So I have a latest version. Let me check. Let me click on this download connection file. So a connection file will be downloaded here with a extension called .pbids. So there are multiple ways you can do you can connect it so let me click on this uh, data uh, sorry power bi file which got just now downloaded here you have multiple ways to connect so one is by using an azure active directory or you can use your azure's email address and password and the third is your personal access token but that is called pat so by using a pat you can connect your databricks to power bi so once you open that connection file, you will be establishing a connection to your data source. So let us wait for a minute. Yeah, so it is asking you for the username and password. This is the first way. Second way is by using a pad. So that is personal access token. I will uh, like, let us do it by using a pad. So it is simple. Let me go back to my Azure account, Azure account and here you can see the two steps here you install a latest version of power bi and after you install you will prompt the azure databricks credentials you can provide your databricks username or you can provide a databricks personal access token or you can sign into the azure active directory you can do any one of that but let me do it by using a pad that is personal access token so you can click on it or you can go to the settings here in the user settings and here somewhere you may have a generate new tokens so when you click on it you will it will ask you for the same thing here you can see user settings and it is asking you the same thing here so let me click on generate a new token and it is asking you a comment so let me give a power bi access it is asking you for the validity like how many days do you want to access this let me keep it for 90 days click on generate so here you get a token so you need to copy this be careful here just if you click on close you won't able to copy the token again so make sure that you have copied it and you might have saved it in a notepad or keep it safe now i'll directly paste it in my personal access token in my power bi let me click on connect and now wait for few seconds Yeah, beautiful. You can see that you are getting the same thing. Let me open this in the data view. Let me go back in the data view. We used to get two catalogs. One is your hive meta store and a sample catalog in the hive meta store. We have three databases and in power BI when I click on this hive meta store, you can see you got three databases when I click on employee database or the schema. You got one employee table just now we have created it from the csv to a delta table let me click on it 
and let me start you can see the data looks clean you can directly click on load and start building a report on top of that delta lake table okay so yeah so your employee table is here inside your power bi desktop I can see all the fields here. I can go back to the data view is not present here. You can just directly start creating uh, visuals. So let me convert this to a card visual. I can see how many counts are there. Let me take one more. Yeah, there are 13 employees and let me take a table in which I will just get gender with a salary. So male and female, you can see male and female, you are getting this much salary. So this is how you can connect your Azure Databricks data lake or the data explorer to a Power BI. You can see that. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thank you for watching this. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel. Please share it with your friends. Please do comment. Thank you for watching again. Keep learning. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.